A while back, I decided that paying for troops is actually redundant, and I made a video demonstrating this. Link to that in the top of the screen. This brought me to another question. Sure, I can save a lot of money not paying for troops, but do I even need to pay for buildings? Well, it turns out, yes. The uh, evil paradox government regulations mean that construction costs is capped at 90%. However, 10 ducats for a workshop? I'm a fan. So, disclaimers. There are quite a few alternative solutions for this one today, and for example, if you allow the minus 30% construction cost from tropical wood being in the province, which applies locally, it becomes much easier. This run today includes me desperately avoiding another native start, but it would be much easier if I didn't. As always, I'm a mode compatible, assuming the compatible and standard setup will be used. With all that out of the way, well, let's begin. Today, our journey begins in Portugal, although I must say, Brandenburg is also a valid choice here. What we are looking for in the start is either the Brandenburg minus 15% construction cost they have in the Brandenburg traditions, or the Portuguese royal absolutism in front of the minus 15% construction cost. Obviously, they are mutually exclusive, but these are one of the two uh, options we have available to us today. I'm going to be using Portugal today, but if you believe that everything I'm going to mention here is going to be easier performed as Brandenburg, you're welcome to do that yourself as well. So, here we are in Portugal, and as always, it's time to go through ideas. The first idea we'll need to fill out is going to be aristocratic, followed by expansion ideas. Now, we don't, strictly speaking, need exploration, but if you are playing this legitimately, I would actually recommend exploration here instead, otherwise expansion is mildly useless. This is mainly because we're going to have plenty of free idea group slots left. However, before we get into that, let's switch into a theocracy. We do this so that we can get divine ideas, and now we need to get court and infrastructure. Now, in our policies, we'll be building manually architecture, which is going to be blessed. Now, we need to embrace the Renaissance, and then make sure we get a leader with a 10% construction cost reduction trait. Now, two equally viable options appear. You'll need to either get the 10% construction cost from orthodoxy, or the 10% construction cost from Hinduism. Both are perfectly good options here. However, if you are doing this as Brandenburg, I would strongly recommend going for orthodoxy. Hinduism is slightly further away from you. Of course, Portugal makes up with a shortcoming by colonizing half the planet. With all that, you would now be sitting at a very comfortable 75% construction cost. Unfortunately, the last 15% gets rather awkward. If we were playing as a Native American, we could just get a policy for that and call it a day. Unfortunately, our desire to do something different means that we're not playing as a Native American today. So we'll have to wait until the 1700s to achieve this. Wait until the revolutionary spawns and go revolutionary. Then, as you become revolutionary, you will need to put the Jacobins faction in power. And there you have it. 90% construction cost reduction with the cap. So what does this look like in practice? So over here, I've got the building menu selected. You're paying 40 ducats for the max size stock exchange and only 10 ducats in marketplace. Universities are 30 ducats, so basically pretty free with town halls and courthouses being absolute no-brainers at 10 ducats each. Description centers giving you massive plus 2 full summit are built for the low low price of 40 ducats. At the same time, barracks are only 30 ducats themselves. Manufactories come at half the price of a normal workshop at 50 ducats each for a whole plus one that's produced. And I feel like these cathedrals are definitely more of a Protestant instead of a Catholic variety, given that they're going for just 30 ducats each. But that concludes the video. Thank you very much for watching, and if you enjoyed, a like and a sub will be appreciated. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.